Hello, Mark Railing here. I am uh, reading poems that I uh, solicited from some poet friends, uh, Haiku and Senru. Uh, this one is by, uh, the subject matter I asked them to address was the absence of water. This one is by Cynthia Rowe from Australia. Prolonged Drought The Red Cloud Kelpie turns to dust. That's a great one. Beautiful image. I don't think she had to imagine it. If you're not aware, uh, Australia's gone through a prolonged drought years. And uh, currently they have uh, fires and uh, just unbelievable devastation. So uh, she didn't have to imagine this image. But it's actually, for all of it, if, that background, it's a beautiful haiku. Because you've set the stage in line one, we know that there's been a prolonged drought, there's been no water. A red cloud kelpie, uh, and I'm familiar with the kelpie breed, but we have standard kelpies here. They're uh, herding dogs, and they're not big, about 20, 25 pounds, but they can make a 400 pound animal move. Uh, my uncle had them at his dairy farm, and he would ring a bell uh, when it was time to uh, to milk the cows. So the cows knew, but cows are pretty interestingly stubborn. They just don't go where they are told. But immediately when the bell was heard, the kelpie who had been running around all over the farm and in the barn and everywhere else, suddenly went out to the field and brought all the cows back. It's stunning how they can do it. They, they, they're extremely fast animals. So I can see the picture here that uh, Cynthia's painting. And the red cloud kelpie is a particular part of the breed. They're a mahogany, reddish colored dog. And just absolutely beautiful. They're short hair. So you could tell if you were running around out in a field. Uh, that had been struck by drought for the last several years. That Kelpie is going to be gray, not red, when you, when she comes in. So it's a it's just a beautiful image. It and it, it satisfies the descriptive part of what a, what a drought is. And to this to this observer to the poet, they're they're looking at it from the point of view of the dog. The dog that they have is turning to gray. So it's just a, a wonderful poem, and uh, but it, it depicts a picture that's awfully devastating right now in Australia. Drought is an awful thing. If you think about it, it's just like the Dust Bowl of the 30s. That's what's happening in Australia, a big part of it, huge part of it. So this dog is just rep rep representative of the effects of the problem on every living being. And uh, the drought in Australia has killed hundreds of thousands of animals. Uh, not domestic, wild, domestic, anything. Anything that's in its path. And I've had experience with fire and, uh, and drought. And it's, I lived in the desert. And uh, it's pretty devastating. But this image is actually quite beautiful. The dog runs out and... In it, running in circles and doing whatever they do, chasing a animals, herding cow or sheep, and then comes back just completely filled with dust. By the way, dogs don't care about all that. Uh, I, I had dogs that loved to dig in the sand, and uh, you would rather have them shake off rain than sand. The rain will evaporate. The sand, you'll be finding it in corners, Ten years from now. But this is just a really good haiku image. And uh, I, I thank her for, for creating it. Let's read it again. Prolonged drought. The red cloud kelpie turns to dust. Quite beautiful. Thank you, Cynthia. I appreciate it.